Hi, Fahim, it's Daphne here. Thank you for working so hard. I'm glad you are on to the next, um, uh, next essays, and I'm glad you found your. Oh, sorry. I'm glad you found the corrections <laughs> in the end. I hope you found that useful. So this is how we work, and we'll do a video correction on each of your essays. Um, don't normally give grades. I mean, I, I will a little bit, um, but I don't know if you're doing this in one hour. I don't know if you're using like correcting um, things or edit things. So. It's difficult for me to give you a, a real realistic, I can give you an indication, but please, it will only be an indication as long as you understand that. Okay. So, letter of apology. Dear sir, you need a capital letter here. Really important on the formality, dear sir or madam, we should say. Comma. And then your ending, really, really important. This is a formal letter. So, your ending must be yours faithfully okay if it's dear mr smith you have yours sincerely make sure you're confident on that it's something the examiner will be looking at so i'm writing this letter to apologize for being absent from the last paper uh due to sickness and not submitting the evidence on a timely basis good well then you can put the last exam paper oops sorry not there here we go last exam paper uh, really good. I like that timely basis. Lovely. Um, my name is Rachel. Um, I wouldn't. Uh, sounds a bit strange. Uh, my name is Rachel Graham, and I'm a student. Um, yes, I'm studying. I mean, they know what university you are. So I'm a student in the third semester of business management, faculty roll number. Yeah, the case numbers been allocated, uh, allotted to me. For yes, uh, for this issue, maybe uh, for all this correspondence. Okay, I would put that there instead. Um, okay, correspondence. Oh, actually, no, actually, mm, not sure of that. Unfortunately, I think would be better. Actually, oh, actually. Unfortunately, I had a high fever on the day of my paper, on my paper, either the paper or my paper, but you must have some article. My body temperature is 102. Additionally, I was unable to stand up on my own legs and due to heavy weakness, which was because of, okay, um, due to extreme weakness. I'm going to say extreme. Uh, my family doctor suggested, now you don't suggest me, you just suggest directly, suggested I take, either suggested taking, okay, or suggested I take antibiotics medicine for five days and recommended me, so then you do need me, to take leave, no S, from university for a week, okay, university always has a capital U, uh, University for a week. Okay, I'll submit my own plots along with um, this leave letter because you've referred to it before to the University Capital Administration Department next week. Um, I request you. Uh, I would uh, request you to. I would be grateful if I think I prefer if you. Yep, you would. Please accept my apology and allow me, okay, so that could go, allow me to appear. Now, we don't appear for a paper. You, you retake or either sit. Sit, you basically sit the exam or retake the paper. Okay, those would be the correct collocations there uh, in the next semester. So I continue my studies. Good, without any uh hurdle is nice but i would say further hurdles that would sound more natural okay but good vocabulary there very thankful for your cooperation or well, thankful to you okay all right for the cooperation okay you also fully uh yeah good really nice letter there you've got lots of vocabulary uh which is great writing very well here this paragraph is great, reads very fluently, it's easy for me to understand, the coherence is really good. Okay, well done. Let's look at your task two. Oop. 
So this is about technology and has it made man more social. Interesting title, isn't it? So experts throughout, and you use the template. Okay, now the deal with the template is, yes, use it, but you don't have to use all of it all the time, okay? Use the bits you feel comfortable with. Gradually, as you might write more essays, uh, you will naturally, I think, um, feel happier with it and you can kind of move it a little bit to suit your own style. So experts throughout both the developed and developing world have debated, now, debated whether, careful of that word, that, debated whether technological advancements have transformed um, society, not the society, just society, into a more, ooh, more social butterfly. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Now, be careful on idioms. Okay. Uh, I mean, yes, lovely. A social butterfly is somebody who jumps from one thing to another thing to another thing. Um, I'm not sure it's exactly that. Social butterfly. Hmm. All right, let's leave it for now. I'm a little bit cautious on that. Um, it's beautiful, but a little bit cautious. Some believe that it, it, it has had, past perfect here, detrimental effects, uh, especially on the younger generation, sorry, present perfect to me, on the younger generation, which I personally strongly agree with. The Cessie will argue both schools of thought using examples. Okay, nice, good. More of a social butterfly. Uh, than let's do a com yeah than previously because I think what's worrying me because you've got more so because you've got more you need to have than you're into a sort of comparative structure so more of a social more of a social butterfly than before then that would work okay on the one hand there's ample evidence that the world could have also our world. I don't usually like that, but it is possible in this kind of essay. It has become a global village due to in, to the invention of uh, so the invention of cutting edge technologies. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, people can interact with residents of any country in the world and obtain so they can interact and they can this modal verb is still working you don't need to repeat it so and obtain so you just need to have the infinitive there because that modal verb is still working for you you're still in the same structure about various cultures and customs secondly uh let's go uh resident um let's all right, yeah, okay. Secondly, individuals can talk to their friends and family anytime and anywhere in the world. Um, yes, we've had in the world, in the world. Okay, do we, I don't even need to repeat that, free of cost. Uh, tell me why that's good, which is, yeah, beneficial, which makes the world feel like a smaller place, um, which is important for keeping in contact, uh, important for building relationships. Tell me, give me something more here. For example, recent empirical research by the UK government demonstrated that 90% of the population uses, so it's a lot of people, uses social media applications such as Facebook, WhatsApp, to interact with their friends and family on a daily basis. Good. Therefore, it's conclusively clear that social interaction has been increased. Uh, that the, okay, let's go, the quality, quantity maybe, quantity and speed of social interaction let's not use quality because you're going to talk about that there has been increased so what i'm just doing here you're writing very very nicely what i'm doing is just developing a few little things so in order to get your writing around about what like a band seven on a really good day okay a band seven if you can do these improvements yeah um so what I want to see is like here relative clauses, here adding in more words, um, just you uh, little 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 things that we are going to work on, which I will keep on um, suggesting. On the other hand, critics argue that modern technologies have deteriorated, no, have um, resulted. They can't deteriorate old customs, but you can result in a deterioration. of the old customs. 
okay, and cultures of societies where people used to sit and interact physically together. Good. Physically and face to face. So what, we, what I'm just doing, you can see, is just adding in a little bit more here. This is a correction, okay? Uh, this is largely because the younger generation, watch out for your articles, it's really important. The young generation is enormously busy and using social media. Uh, uh, and claim that, this is the younger generation, claim that, so you don't need that, they cannot find enough time for it. Now, it, you mean the personal interaction, uh, enough time to meet and converse one to one. Okay. I don't think you can have it. I think it's just not, it's a little bit confusing, but if you add in this, then you explain what you mean. For example, an extensive study by Oxford showed that over 75% of teenagers spend 20 to 25 hours on social media on a weekly basis. Thus, it's possible to state that improvements in new technologies have diversely affected. Yes, um, diversity, mm, yeah. <sighs> Diversely and sometimes negatively, because this is point, this whole paragraph is negatively affected the community's norms. I think you need that in there. From the arguments examples given, I firmly believe that although there are some negative developments of new technologies, now you don't need to have, however, and although. You've got although, so you don't need that. We cannot ignore the tremendous opportunities being given to human beings to socialize with people. Yeah, lovely. Predicted new is in importance absolutely really really good i like that you've done a very good essay there um well done you're writing in a nice style you understand the question very well you're confident in the way you're writing nice style as well so good work yeah really happy with that um i am going to be taking a few days off because it is christmas uh in europe tomorrow um so i will probably be back in action in about two days uh so sorry for any delay Use the website, uh, use the vocabulary section, it's really good, you might like that. Uh, and yeah, just uh, well done, keep writing, thank you.